Please, Covenant people, welcome Pastor John and you make him, my dear son. One more time. That's it. I my Savior, my Savior, God, to Thee. We lift our voices and say, how great, how great Thou How great Thou art. How great. your hands for the Lord Jesus today hallelujah praise the Lord I want to give God all the glory and all the honor for the privilege to be alive and to celebrate with you Babic 2023 to the glory of God I believe that God deserves a clap of praise in the house I also want to thank God for our father and our mother. Thank you so much for the privilege, for the honor, for the love, for the covering. Even since I was a child, um, I remember when mama invited the young blessed choir to the first federal road, 1989. I was one of those little kids that sang on that stage. Glory be to God today. I, I thank God for the connection. May God continue to keep you and bless you in Jesus' name. I don't take it for granted at all. I don't take it for granted at all to stand on this very holy altar to declare God's word. And I pray that the Lord will continue to be glorified in Jesus' name. I want to honor God in the life of all the leaders. Thank you so much, all our fathers. Can we give all our leaders a big God bless you? All the pastors, delegates, everyone that came from all around the world. And even those us online globally for this conference. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Today, you are going to be blessed like you've never been blessed before. If your amen is loud, the Lord will perfect the blessing upon your life. I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 61. From verse number 1 to verse 4. 61. From verse number 1 to verse 4. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim me to the captive. And the opening of the prison to Father bless your word. When you speak, life is released. Today, everyone under the sound of my voice, 
may we be quickened by the power of your word. Let yokes be broken in this service. Let burdens be lifted in this service. Let chains be destroyed in this service. Let the power of devil and hell be destroyed in this service in the name of Jesus. At the end of all things, let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let me hear the believers shout the loudest amen in the building. You may be seated. God bless you. I'll be speaking briefly on what I titled Brighter and Brighter Through the Anointing. Somebody shout brighter and brighter. Somebody shout it again. Brighter and brighter through the anointing. Today I see God releasing the fresh oil of his power upon every life under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, everything that the enemy put over your life is permanently broken in the name of Jesus. If you shout the loudest amen, the oil will flow in the name of Jesus. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. And the scripture said, and he said unto me, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. I discover that every transformation that God births in the life of a man takes place only through the power of the Holy Ghost at work. This especially takes place by the process of the word. Once the word of God is released, the spirit of God is released through the word and it is releasing power and anointing and grace and favor to break yokes and set captives free. Today I believe that in this service, that today God wants to liberate his people. God wants to set the sinners free. God wants to set the captive free. God wants to set the sick healed. God wants to release the power of abundance and breakthrough upon the life of his people. And so as the anointing will be released upon God's people, today I see everything that has kept you down. In the name of Jesus, you are rising to a greater level in Jesus' name. If you believe it, shout the loudest, amen. With the mind, the anointing. As the, the impartation of the power of the Holy Ghost that makes a believer to function as God has ordained him or her to function. The anointing is not the oil, but we know that it is symbolized by the impartation through the oil. It represents the presence and the impartation of the power of the Holy Ghost that makes a believer to function as God has ordained him or her to function. Just like Jesus Christ, who is the anointed one, functioned while on earth. The anointing is important for you and I because for us to fulfill our godly potential for the mandate that God has called us to do, we need the power of spirit. We cannot do it by our own strength. This can no man prevail. You cannot do the works of God by the power of man. You can only do the works of God by the power of God. That is why every believer, child of God, under the sound of my voice, if there is anything that you need to fulfill the mandate upon your life, it is the anointed. And today, for everyone under the sound of my voice, as you shout a big amen, I see God releasing fresh oil upon your life. I say, I see God releasing fresh oil upon your life. Fresh oil upon your children. Fresh oil upon your family. 
fresh iron upon your ministry. If you believe it, let me hear a loud amen in the building. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Jesus speaking to the disciples. He says, but you will receive power. Somebody shall power. When the Holy Ghost comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. For you to be a representative of Jesus Christ in Benin City, in Edo State, in Nigeria, in West Africa, in Africa, and to the nations of the earth, you need the anointed. Somebody lift your voice and shout, I need the anointed. Yeah. Jesus said it to the disciples, you shall receive power. Then you can be a witness. Without the anointing, we cannot witness to the world Jesus Christ. Jesus is the anointed one. First John 4 verse 17 B says, just as he is, so are we in this world. If we will do the works of Jesus, we cannot do the works of Jesus without the power of Jesus. There are situations and circumstances that we will face on a daily basis that we need more than psychology, that we need more than physical knowledge, that we need more than PhD to accomplish. And if there is anything that the world responds to, if there is anything that the devil responds to, if there is anything that situations and circumstances respond to, is the anointed, is the power of God inside of you. I don't know who you are under the sound of my voice. When you came for Babic, you came at one level, but as you are living from Babic, you are living at a greater level. You are living with a greater anointed. You are living with greater power. You are living with greater Shut up. As you jump on your feet and shout, Amen, receive more power from the Holy Ghost. Problems don't answer to psychology. Every problem responds to the power in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Today, I don't know what mountain has faced you before you entered this conference. But I came here to announce to you in the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, if your amen is louder than your neighbor, that problem is melting, is melting down in the name of Jesus. Jesus telling the disciples the importance of the Holy Spirit in the book of John. He expanded more on the functions of the Holy Spirit on earth and to the believer. John 16, 7. He says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient that I go away. And if I go not away, the comforter, which is the paracletus, will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin. And of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me. Of righteousness because I go to my father. And you shall see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have said many things. I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth. So the anointing, which is the power of the Holy Ghost. Once it is operational in your life. The Bible says he is the spirit of truth. He will guide you into all the truth. Somebody, I see the Holy Ghost guiding you as you leave Babic this year. He will guide you into all the truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatever he shall hear, that he will speak unto you. He will show unto you things that are to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and show it unto thee. All things that the Father hath are mine. 
Therefore I said that he shall take of mine and he will show it unto you. Once God anoints you, he will take up the things of the Father and he will release it unto you. Somebody things you never seen in your life before. Dimensions of power that you have never operated before. As you shout a big amen, by the reason of the anointing, the Lord will begin to release that access to you. I said the Lord will release that access to you. If you believe it, shout a big amen. For you to rise in destiny and you to accomplish what you have never been able to accomplish for the past years of your life, the anointing must be involved. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I need the anointed. Say it like you truly mean it. Say, I need the anointed. They can't hear you shout it loud. Say, I need the anointed. The anointing empowers you to rise. The anointing will take you from a nobody to become a somebody. The anointing will take you from zero into hero. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. When you entered Babi 2023, you entered as a nobody, but by the mandate of heaven, if you will jump on your feet and shout a big amen, the anointing to take you to the next level is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. There's a fresh mantle coming upon you. There's a fresh fire coming upon you. As you shout, Amen, receive that anointing now. Shout the loudest, Amen, in the building. Now, please. The anointing qualifies your calling and your ordination. The anointing empowers you to shine. Listen to this. John the Baptist was in the wilderness. The anointing of God was upon his life. People left the city to go look for him in the wilderness. There's an anointing that is coming upon you. Anywhere you go, you will shine. You didn't hear me. I said anywhere you go, you will shine. It doesn't matter the city you find yourself. I said you will shine. Look for three people. Tell them I will shine. I will shine. Say it again. Tell I said, tell them I will shine, I will shine. As you shout a big amen, everything you lay your hands to do, God will begin to prosper it. Anointing is coming upon your head. Anointing is coming upon your feet. Anointing is coming upon the word of your mouth. You lay hands on the sick, they begin to recover. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like fire. Daddy told you, we started with eight people in our church. Respectfully, I wanted to lay foundation before I start telling you testimony. Because it's the word of God, that's why I told you, it's the word of God that makes a difference. It's not story. So I like to lay foundation first before I start sharing. The, right, I said eight people in my living room. My living room is no more than where the musicians are. Where the drum set is no more than that. I was so ashamed to bring my father to our house this time he came to visit us because he was so small daddy that's why we had to take you to a restaurant because he was too small I know he wanted to come to our house but I said no 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 this kind of house is too small you know when the anointing comes upon your life small we become great if you jump on your feet and shout amen collect fresh fire and about that I don't like your amen. I don't like your amen. I said, collect fresh fire. I said, collect fresh fire. I said, collect fresh fire. Collect fresh fire to your ministry. I can't hear you. I said, collect fresh fire to your ministry. Collect fresh fire to your destiny. As you shout amen, receive it with power. Started as eight. Little by little. We committed ourselves to prayer. And I know what I told God. I said, God, if you will call me and you don't anoint me, what will make me different from another ministry in the city? I said, instead of you not to anoint me, Lord, leave me alone. Let me do my own. 
I told God that. I said, God, I remember how I cried to God one day in the city of Irving, Texas. Middle of the night. I said, God, there must be something that differentiates me from every other church. You are not hearing me. There's a differentiating anointing that is coming upon somebody. Right there, right there, right there. God sent me to you. As you shout a big amen, collect fresh anointing today. Some of you are still there. You didn't hear me. Collect fresh anointing today. Over there in the choir, collect fresh anointing today. As you seek, people will begin to jump out of wheelchair. As you declare the word of God, miracles will begin to happen. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like fire. See that? One of the days, somebody, all of a sudden, what I discovered was people will call me that are not members of our church. Someone told them, they, they, they said you should go, someone told them to go to Nigeria. So one of them told them, Nigeria is too far. Have you heard of, uh, mention the name, mention our church. They say if you go there, save your flight money. <laughs> My God, as you shout a big amen, all the problems in your city, God will begin to use you to solve them. You are not ready, you know. You know, you know, one of the one of the prerequisites for the anointing is spiritual hunger. If you are not hungry, Holy Ghost will not come upon you. If you are not ready to be a difference and to make a difference, something will not enter you. As you jump on your feet and shout louder, amen than your neighbor. Call that fresh fire today. Fire to your bones, fire to your tongue, fresh revelations. You open the Bible, you begin to see mysteries. As you open the mouth, power begins to come out. As you shout, Amen, receive fresh fire. To the air. I'll give you one of the testimonies. One of the ladies, sit down. One of the ladies, she came one day as the city. Daddy knows the big church in the city. She said, in the middle of her prayer, her daughter had been married for years, no baby. That she heard the voice of God said, go and look for John. When I know they hear me. When God anoints you, he will noise your name abroad. Somebody, you are too quiet for me. You don't understand. As you shout a big amen, may the anointing noise your name. May the anointing noise your name. Over there, the choir, may the anointing noise your name. If you believe it, shout amen like fire. He said, God, thank God. So she started to ask, who is John? Who is John? So they said, oh, which one? He said, is there any John? They said, there's a pastor that just started church. This is two years into the ministry. They came. They had spent money on doctors. And I've spent money on doctors. They came. After we sat down for 10 minutes, I prayed for them, laid hands on the, the daughter and the husband. They fell under the anointing. Saturday, Saturday no, 3 o'clock. You know, anointing can flow anytime. So people's anointing only flow when people gather. Today, the anointing will flow in the morning. They are not, you are not hear me. Anointing will flow on public holiday. You are not hearing me. Anointing will flow in the middle of the night. Anointing will flow in the car park. As you shout, Amen, receive the fire. Hear me. Hear me. We laid us on there. Less than 12 months. Stomach took him. As they were releasing the baby, another one came. In fact, as we were dedicating the next one them, Thus said the Lord, the next baby we are dedicating is a baby boy. Before I came, the last miracle I heard, two days before, the mother called me in the middle of that. He said, the God of John and the maker, he is the Lord. They will mention your God. They will tell you that your God is alive. Look for three people, tell them my God is alive. 
I can't hear you. I say, my God is alive. Shout it again. I say, my God is alive. If you believe it, let me hear your amen like thunder. The anointing, it causes you to shine. Because it is not you they are seeing. They are seeing the glory of God upon your life. Say, Lord, release fresh anointing. I can't hear someone say, Lord, release fresh anointing upon my life. As you shout a big amen, receive that anointing now. The higher your anointing grows, the more you rise. The anointing empowers you to manifest the glory of God. Luke chapter 2 verse 40 and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. Hear me? When the anointing comes upon you the anointing is not only for people to follow you know some people liking anointing to falling and rolling on the floor that's why I read what that Isaiah 61 says. That was what Jesus quoted when he started his ministry. Right? There's the spirit of wisdom that comes with the, the anointing. There's the spirit of grace that comes with the anointing. A man of God said something one time. When I first heard it, I was, I was almost angry. But the more I saw it, the more I discovered the truth. A man that is anointed can never be stranded. You will not know they hear me. When a man is anointed, obstacles become miracles. Oh my God. Come on, can you hear me? Can you hear me? From today, as you shout the loudest amen, every obstacle becomes a miracle. You doubt me. Hold on. Hold on. You doubt me. Jesus, the anointed one, the first place he performed his miracle was not inside the church. It was in a wedding. The mother of Jesus knew that her son carried something. That when there was problem, that is where anointing began to manifest. You know, some of you under the sound of my voice, you wonder why so much problems are coming to you. The reason is that the anointing only works when problems show up. If you hear me shout, yeah! understand what I'm saying today? Listen, if you get power, now problem they show where that power they. How do you know a good doctor? A good doctor is known by the amount of problems and the difficult problems that the doctor can solve. From today, every problem that comes across your way, the Lord will give you the grace to solve it. The Lord will give you grace to solve it. The Lord will give you grace to solve it. If your amen is loud, fresh anointing is coming upon you. Jesus, the wine is gone. A party that was supposed to be for seven days. Listen, Jesus did not even look for the wine skin. Didn't hear me. Jesus did not look for the wine skin. Jesus looked for the pot of sanctification. And told them, fill it with water. The anointing can use anything as a raw material. When I know they hear me, when I know they hear me. You are, are you hearing what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know. That is a that is a bishop. I'm just a small pastor. But I want to believe that that day of the party was not the first time Mary saw Jesus do something like that. One day in the house 
Mama Mary wanted juice for house. Jesus, he said, Jesus, go buy juice. All of a sudden, the better juice show up without Jesus coming out of the house. No wonder she told Jesus. He said, whatever he tells you to whatever he tells you to do go ahead and do it in the name of jesus as you come out of this conference whatever you do the power of god will back you up the power of god will back you up i said the power of god will back you up i said the power of god will back you up if you believe it listen and shout amen had so much confidence what so even though Jesus said carry the water turn three times given it goes to change you know when you are anointed even though you they say pure water when people drink your pure water it go taste like wine for their mouth who am I talking to somebody your business it will explode after the day I can't hear your amen. Somebody from today, that market where you they sell, as the anointing come upon you, it shall become a global market. It shall become a global business. It shall become a global ministry. If you believe it, shout amen. Causes you to rise. For sake of time, I'm going to list what the anointing will do. If God help us tomorrow, we will continue. Is that okay? Come on, talk to me. Is that okay? One of the first things the anointing does is that it keeps you. For the Lord. Hear me? I said the anointing. It keeps you on fire for God. Somebody shall fire. When I know they talk, I'm like, when I'm ready. I said, somebody shall fire. No, 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 no. Look for three people. Shout fire inside their ear. Fire. Shout fire. Shout it inside your ear. Shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are, hear me, there are 150 people under the sound of my voice that God will be raising with a fresh fire, a mandate of fire. All the way, it will be from Benin City to the world. When I know hear me, when I know hear me, when I know hear me. Come on, stay with me. Come on, let's go. I said after today, there's a fire that will begin to burn inside of your belly. You are not hearing me. It will be from Benin City to the rest of the world. As you jump on your feet and shout, Amen. Collect that fire now. Collect that fire now. Young people, collect that fire now. Collect that fire now. Pastors, collect that fire now. Somebody shout fire, fire. Open your mouth and declare fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open your mouth and declare fire. Lord, I did the fire. 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 If you believe it, let me hear you. Amen. Why did I say that? When the Holy Ghost came in Acts chapter 2. One of the first evidences that he came was cloven tongues as of fire. Yes. One of the first evidence when the Holy Ghost came in Acts 2, there was a sound of a mighty rushing. The whole room, they were filled. Right? And every one of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. And cloven tongues as of fire rested upon their head. Today, as the anointing oil rests upon you and I, as you shout a big amen, place your hand upon your head. 
as you shout a big amen, fresh fire will be released to your life. I can't hear you. I said fresh fire will be released to your life. If you believe it, shall fire. Why? Hearts on fire for him. To light us up. Because the world is filled with darkness. And the only way we can quench the dark, the only way we count darkness is when we have the light. So one of the functions of the Holy Ghost is to make sure that we are all on fire and we carry the light of God. Somebody shout a big amen. We need the anointing for spiritual sustenance. In order to go the extra mile in our worship and our service to God without being burnt out. If you don't have the anointing, the walk will become tedious. After a while, you begin to complain. Instead of seeing solutions, all you will see is problem. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? When you see darkness, all you need to chase darkness away is to switch on the light. So when you enter any place, if there is darkness there, immediately you enter, light will show up. From today, when you get home, light will show up. When you get home, I said light will show up. I said wherever you go, light will show up. This was taught by Jesus in Matthew 25. Jesus gave the parable of the ten virgins. And you remember, there were five that were wise and five that were foolish. Now, it is not their virginity that conferred wisdom or foolishness. Are you hearing me? If you hear me, shout amen. What conferred on them wisdom was the amount of oil that they had in their lamp. So if you have less oil, you have less wisdom. You have more oil, you have more wisdom. Child of God, the anointing you are receiving today is not just for today's problem. You know, they hear me. There are things that are coming along your way that God has seen in the future, you will need capacity to be able to overcome it. As you lift your right hand and shout amen, receive more oil upon your lamp. Receive more oil upon your lamp. Remember, the Lord told them in the book of Leviticus, he said the fire must not go out upon the altar. It must burn continually. If you lack oil, your fire will go out. Let me tell you, you can be good. Go out. So you need the oil. Somebody shout, I need the oil. Hear me today. So when God is anointing us, this is what God showed me, and I'm done. I think this is the only one we can do this, this morning so that we can, Baba can go on. God showed me every child of God is like an altar. Did you hear me? Every child of God. An altar without fire. When you put the sacrifice, after a while, the sacrifice will begin to smell because it is the fire burning it and the heat that keeps maggots away. When they hear me, if you hear me, say amen. Okay, imagine this is an altar. If fire not day, our mothers that cook, if you put food inside pots and fire not day, you just close the pots and meet day. After one day, two days, three days, what it go happen? It go begin smell. Most people, because the fire is out, they have the sacrifice, but it smells. 
what makes it a sweet smelling sour is that there is fire without that oil the fire will go so you wonder why Baba after 50 years plus years of ministry is still going that even though they are older but their youth is renewed like the eagle. You know why? It is the anointing that refreshes you. Somebody has to show them receive fresh anointing to your life. Jesus is coming soon. You and I need to be ready. Pick my Bible. You and I need to be ready for us to stay burning for the trumpet of God to sound. We need that anointing. We need that staying power. If you will pray today, as you stand on your feet, I see God releasing fresh oil into your life. Lift your hands wherever you are. Somebody shout, Lord. I can't hear you. Somebody shout, Lord. Upon my life, release a fresh oil. Release fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. Everybody open. I don't know who you are but you need the oil of God upon your life you need the fire of God upon your life and you don't want to die out ordinary say Lord upon my life today release a fresh oil release a fresh fire Lord I don't want to be dried up I don't want to be empty I don't want to operate as a foolish virgin say Lord in the name somebody open your mouth somebody open your mouth somebody open your mouth say Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus, upon my life, I need a fresh oil. I need a fresh fire. I need a fresh mandate upon my life. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, refill me. I cannot dwell on yesterday's anointing. I need a fresh anointing upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody, you have 60 seconds. Open your mouth and cry out. Say, Lord, I don't want to go back the same way that I came to this conference. If you can shout shout if you can clap clap if you can cry out cry out i don't know what you need to do say lord i need it i need it i need it i need a fresh oil i need a fresh fire to keep me burning till jesus come in jesus mighty name we have prayed as you shout three loud amen may god release fresh fire upon your life one more time one more time lift your hands up today lord i've given you a word you are the anointer jesus christ the son of the living god the anointed one lord as our father in the lord and the man of god in this house anoint us with oil lord every man that has dried up as we shout a big amen let fresh oil be released upon our land I can't hear your amen I said let fresh oil be released upon our land let fresh oil be released upon our ministry fresh oil upon our family fresh oil upon our business fresh oil upon our children fresh oil upon our destiny in the name of Jesus, let me hear your amen like thunder. Lord, we cannot do it by our power. For by strength shall no man prevail. Your word declares not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit. Today, in our lives, what no eyes have seen what no ears have heard what has not come to the imaginations of the hearts of men what you have prepared for those who love you we give you the praise and the glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed let me hear seven loud amen in the building one more time one more time one more time one more time one more time, jump on your feet and shout it one more time. 